Hey there, my name is Nader and I'm alive and I just got back to Canada after a month and a half backpacking trip to Europe. I have to tell you, if you're going to travel the world, I highly recommend it. It's one of the best experiences you'll ever have and you'll learn so much about yourself. I started off in Scotland and went to England. I went to Germany, the Netherlands, Spain and Greece. All that in about a month and eight days and it was just fantastic. I mean, the Scottish taught me how to play snooker in England. They were all like, ha ha, cheers, tea. Well, they weren't actually like that, but it was so much fun seeing London and seeing some family and friends and Germans are so much fun. The Dutch are so nice. Greece is amazing. The views and the things you can do and just how laid back everyone is, depending on where you go, is just fantastic. So I want to let you guys know that I have a travel blog up now. It's nadraisalive.com. I'm going to leave it in the description. But in this video, I just want to introduce that blog and say, you know what, if you guys have any questions or you want tips about traveling or how to save money or run a business while you're on the road, ask me and I'd be happy to make a post. Just leave it in the comment section below or send me an email through my website. But for this video, I want to list the top 10 reasons why you should travel the world. Number one, you'll experience things on the road that you won't experience anywhere else. I know that's very vague, but when I was in Barcelona, a coke dealer tried to pickpocket me. And I had never been pickpocketed before, but I was very paranoid of it because I heard a lot of people were pickpocketed in Barcelona. It tends to happen in Spain quite a lot. So I was walking down the street, three guys approached me. They asked if I need anything, if I would like to buy some beer, and I'm like, no, that's okay. And as I'm conversing with these people, I feel another guy just in the corner sticking his little finger in my pocket. I didn't even know what to do. My first reaction was to smack him in the head. I don't recommend doing that if you're traveling the world to smack a cocaine dealer in the head. Um, they were offering me cocaine as well and I politely declined and tried to leave. Um, and then cocaine dealer number four decided to try to take my phone. I smacked his head and that was what happened. Don't do it again! But it was an experience I would never experience back home. Now I know to be more careful when people approach me in public. But I've also experienced really amazing and fun things. Like I experienced... Um, the Rappabahn in Germany. I experienced like going on canal tours and an ice bar and just learning how to use the transit system in every country and meeting friends and um, I'm usually very social but I mean coming out of your comfort zone even more to venture out into the community and meet locals is just the experience is unparalleled. You will not get it anywhere else by sitting at home so I recommend doing that. Number two it changes who you are. It helps you develop your character. And the way it does that is because you're enriching yourself by seeing different places, seeing different locations. It really puts the world in perspective. When you sit at home, you kind of romanticize how other places look like, or the opposite. You're afraid of going other places because you've heard they're dangerous. But when you go there, you really realize what the place is all about, what the people are like, and just why it's amazing to travel. So number two is it really puts the world into perspective and it changes who you are. Number three, good food. If you want to eat good food, travel. Because you're going to try different foods from different cultures and they're made right there. They're authentic. Like the best places to get uh, Beijing Peking duck is Beijing. If you're going to go and have some, I don't know, curry or something you get it from India, it would be different than getting it in like Toronto or getting it in a small community. Like getting it from the actual place makes a world different. Greek salad in Greece, fresh, delicious. You need souvlaki in Greece, delicious. Like you got to try those things. So the food. Number four, your friends. You're going to meet so many friends on the road when you're traveling, when you're backpacking. You're going to be in a hostel. You're going to meet someone and say, where are you from? And they're going to be like, I'm from Norway. You're going to meet someone else. Say, where are you from? They're from Argentina. Somebody else is from Brazil. Somebody else is from England. Someone's from Canada, the U.S. You get to meet so many people. And then when you travel again, you will get to go meet them in their countries. So number four is you're going to meet so many people and you're going to make so many friends. That's another reason why you should travel. Number five building a business and making an income. I know it sounds crazy, but some of the most successful business leaders around the world traveled before they were able to make their fortunes or before they were able to develop something amazing that helped a lot of people. So if you're an entrepreneur or you want to develop something and change the world, traveling is another way to enlighten yourself. 
I know a film director, his name is Paul Saltzman, and he did a pilgrimage in India and met the Beatles. And since then, he said it changed his life forever. I mean, Steve Jobs did something very similar, and he recommended that other entrepreneurs did the same thing. We have Amazon, the founder of Amazon. He traveled for a long time. Legend has it, he was writing his business plans on spare napkins and he came back and transformed it into an empire. So traveling is really going to change your worldview and also teach you different ways on how you can really develop amazing inventions and ideas and spread them globally. Number six, getting used to homesickness. We will often get homesick in our lives. No matter where your home is, no matter what your home is like, leaving home is a daunting experience. I've been away at university for eight months and I got used to it. It became like a second home. But when I left and I traveled, I got a little bit homesick because everything was different. I didn't necessarily want to come back because I was enjoying the experiences, but I got very used to coping by myself. So I think traveling is really good, especially backpacking because you get to take care of yourself more. You know, you get to understand that I'm homesick right now. I'm the only thing I have on the road. I gotta take care of myself. So that's our next step. You learn to appreciate yourself as well. When you travel, you learn to appreciate yourself because you're enriching yourself. You're pretty much, if you're traveling solo, the only person you have as you're traveling. Makes sense, right? You're traveling by yourself. You're pretty much your only friend. You tend to think back to your old experiences to help you with present ones. You tend to think, all right, I gotta make friends. I gotta improve myself so I can get out of my comfort zone and meet people. It's yourself and admiring yourself and appreciating yourself that's really going to be developed as you travel. You really have to take care of your health when you're on the road because you're the only thing you have. You have to protect yourself when you're on the road. It's something you gotta do. Number eight, coolest stories ever. If you're traveling, if you've traveled or you're going to travel, you know or you will know very good stories. You will have so many stories to share with people when you come back home. It's absolutely amazing. Now, I'm gonna tell more stories on this channel. I don't want to completely spoil all the surprises. More blog posts will be coming, so I'm gonna tell you some really messed up stories similar to the Coke dealer that I had to smack in the head. But Really, you're going to have good stories, good stories, not just crazy ones like mine, but good stories that are going to last you a lifetime. Number nine, motivating. When you travel, it tends to motivate you and you're able to motivate your friends as well. When you come back from a really large trip and you're sitting at home, you've seen so many different things and you have so many different ideas. You've met different people and things tend not to change when you're back home. I mean, people get older. People change jobs maybe once or twice, but for the most part, you'll notice when you come back to your hometown, nothing has really changed, and sometimes that's the most frightening thing ever. But since you come back and you have a whole host of new experiences, you're able to share those with your friends. They inspire you to do different things. They inspire you to change. They inspire you to take your whole host of experiences and bring them back into your present situation and where you are. And at the same time, you can inspire your friends with that as well. You can say, hey, I really appreciate home now because I traveled for a long time. I appreciate you. I want to do things for you. That tends to come out with me personally when I travel and I come back. I gain more of an appreciation for where I am. And that's last step or last item on the list, appreciating your country. And that's very important. I always appreciated Canada. I always love my country because it's nice. I love every country I've been to, to be honest. I haven't been to a nation I did not like yet, but I really kind of took where I lived for granted. I mean, I enjoyed it, I went to school, but I never thought it was anything incredibly special. It was special because I was born there and we do some great things, we have a democracy. But really, when I traveled, I miss my country and I miss people back home. I like traveling, it was hard coming back home because it was a lot of fun on the road. But coming back home, I have a greater appreciation for Canada. There's a certain warmth that I get back home that I don't get anywhere else because it's my home. And that's something you'll notice when you travel. So if you're not appreciating where you are right now, go and travel. Take a look at the world and see what happens when you come back. My name's Nader and I'm alive and thank you for checking out this video. Go and head on over to my blog right now. Request and post. Give me some feedback. And I hope to see you next time.